St. Paul has been home to famous people from all walks of life. Everyone from F. Scott Fitzgerald to John Dillinger to Charles Schultz has left their mark on St. Paul and American culture. But of all the local folks who have left their mark, it was two men who grew up side by side in the Dayton's Bluff neighborhood who may have had the most profound influence on our country. Their names were Warren Berger and Harry Blackman, better known in the 1970s, 80s, and 90s as Chief Justice Berger and Associate Justice Blackman of the U.S. Supreme Court. The two were childhood friends living just a few blocks apart on St. Paul's east side. Berger was born in 1907 on a nearby farm, but lived for most of his youth and young adulthood at 695 Conway Street. This modest wooden house was built in 1884 and is still inhabited. Blackman was born in Illinois in 1908, but spent most of his childhood years in St. Paul. His former home is also still in use at 847 4th Street. The two boys attended Van Buren School, which stood near present-day Dayton's Bluff Elementary. After high school, Berger labored as a construction worker on the Robert Street Bridge. In 1931, he earned his law degree from St. Paul College of Law, later known as William Mitchell College of Law. Berger and Blackman both taught at the college in the 1930s and 40s. Blackman graduated from Harvard, but returned to the Twin Cities and the Mayo Clinic in Rochester to teach and practice law. President Richard Nixon appointed Berger as Chief Justice in 1969 and Blackman as an Associate Justice in 1970. Both had solid credentials as conservatives. Berger and Blackman were nicknamed the Minnesota Twins, but over time, they grew less and less alike. Blackman became the most liberal member of the court although he claimed the rest of the court had grown more conservative. In 1973, Blackman authored the Roe v. Wade decision legalizing abortion. The controversy surrounding that decision continues to influence U.S. politics. Warren Burger and Harry Blackman were not the only local citizens to serve on the U.S. Supreme Court. In 1923, President Warren Harding appointed a staunchly conservative lawyer and former Ramsey County attorney to the court. His name was Pierce Butler. During the Great Depression, Butler was a thorn in the side of President Franklin Roosevelt as he opposed every piece of Roosevelt's New Deal legislation that crossed his desk. Butler and three other justices were nicknamed the Four Horsemen for their conservative ideologies and votes that blocked any progressive legislation. Butler died in office in 1939. There is a street in St. Paul named Pierce Butler Route, but that name is a little misleading. It is actually named in honor of Pierce Butler Jr., who died in 1957. Pierce Butler Jr. followed in his father's footsteps as a lawyer and is remembered as an active member of the Democratic Party and a popular civic leader in St. Paul.